Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, uh, Wildwood Cottage, and today is a very exciting day. We have the new cook stove being fitted. Excuse the echoey sound, but we've had to empty the room um, of the furniture, and my husband's going to decorate it as well. So this is the stove behind me um, that's waiting to get fitted, and that is the hole that it's going into. So yeah, very exciting day. I've been awake a lot for, in the night. I've been awake since five o'clock. I was so excited. I just didn't want to go to sleep. Um, but yeah, hopefully the men will be here soon. They've done the flu and uh, they just need to get the stove put in. So once I get that in, I'll video the first lighting for you and uh, show you how we get on. So let me just show you around it and let you just have a little look before they come. Right, so this is the stove. It's a pretty and it's a, if I show you the label, might be easier, might it? It's a pretty 2P41 and it's an A energy rating and it's a 15 kilowatt stove. So, yeah. So it's going in this hole here. They're going to put a slate um, hearth on the floor there for it to stand on to level it off. And uh, it'll probably come to about here. It's about, oh no it won't, it'll come to about there from the floor. It's about 90 centimetres tall. <coughs> so, and it'll fill the hole completely as well. So that's really good. It's got a um, uh, firebox there. There's the firebox. This is the ashtray. And then this is the oven. So it doesn't have a shelf unfortunately, but um, I've read online that if you put an old oven shelf on the bottom you can lift it off and that will stop your food burning. So, so that's that. And then under this one, if I can lift it off, this is a hot plate. And there's one vent in there that opens and closes to uh, get the air up the chimney. And then you close that off once the air's up the chimney. Um, and then this is the other hot plate above the fire. The fire goes in there. So, so yeah, it looks like it's quite well made. It's cast iron on the top and then the rest of it's uh, steel. So this is going to be the hottest hot plate because it's right above the um, firebox. And then this is going to be slightly cooler. And then you've got the oven. But, uh, yeah. So that looks really good. So this is the uh, flue outlet. And that is to open and close the flue. That button on the side there. So you, that's your dampener. So you open that up when you first, you open that up when you first light it. And then you close it down when it's lit. And then you've got a vent there, and obviously you've got this lever here that opens and closes to the flue. So yeah, it looks like it's a good stove. Looking forward to it being fitted. Hopefully they're going to be here soon, because I'm beside myself with excitement. I can't wait. I've even taken the day off work. I was supposed to go to work this morning to clean for somebody. But uh, yeah. So just turn your back around. So yeah, hopefully they'll be here soon. As I say, I took the morning off work this morning. I was supposed to go and clean for somebody who would go to once a month. And uh, I was so excited about them coming. I just had to stay and just watch them do it. So, right, hi everyone, welcome back. Behind me is my new cook stove, all nicely fitted um, and plumbed in. So we have used it a couple of times in the last couple of days. It went in on Wednesday. We didn't light it Wednesday, but we lit it Thursday and we lit it yesterday. So, yeah, it's really warm, it's really efficient. And uh, it's quite warm, this room, this morning, even though I didn't keep it going overnight. But uh, I'm just going to go and get some wood. And um, we'll go and get some wood together and then we'll load the fire and get it lit. So uh, I'm going to get my, my wood bucket and we're going to go outside, get some wood, load the fire and get it lit. So come on, let's go outside.
so we've got our dry bottom pieces in and next we have to put some paper in so we'll do that this is uh, according to the instructions um, that came with it pull my jumper up so I don't get black all over me and then I like to add a few fair combs because they radiate the heat quite a lot so stick a couple of a few fair combs in I keep meaning to make those fire lighters those lint ones you need to get round to that really right that's that and then we've got some smaller pieces of kindling so I'm going to throw them on the top I do this on my other fire in the other room and um, it works really well. It gets the heat going up the chimney straight away, which is what you want. You want to generate as much heat as you can to start. It's not actually too bad in here today because I had the fire on last night um, and I had it on until about half twelve when I went to bed. Um, yeah, it was half twelve when I, well, twelve o'clock when I went to bed. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, it had wood in it when I went, so I don't know how long it would have carried on going for. But, um, I just like to make sure that I've got plenty of stuff on the top. But before I light it, I'll uh, show you where all the cleaning access areas are. And then if you are thinking of buying one, then you'll know how you're going to clean it. Um, so that's pretty much it um, for what I'm going to put in the fire. So I put this back, this sits on there and that's one of the hot plates and that got really really hot last night it heated my tea through in about five minutes from uh, I took it out of the freezer and defrosted it in the microwave and then put it on the top here and um, it, defro it cooked in about five minutes it was that hot um, I put the kettle on it today as well and that heated in about five minutes as well from cold which was really good but uh, yeah, I'm giving it a dust because I don't want it smoking. So I'm just, I need a little brush just to get all the dust off the top. I've got my little stove top fan in the corner there. So that's sitting on here. So that'll start spinning when the heat gets built up. Um, so let me just show you around. Right, under here is the space where you can store all the logs to warm them up and dry them out if they're a bit damp. Um, and it does go right the way back to the wall at the back there so I can get two layers in um, roughly 90 centimetres across and 50 centimetres deep so that's ideal it means I can get a good day's wood dry under there so I'm going to fill it up again with a bit more in a bit but uh, yeah in here in here is the ash box and in here you can uh, get the hoover and get that dusted out so that just goes, it's got a really deep ash pan which is really good. Um, in there is an extra grill and that just sits on the top of the grill above the ash pan and that gives a little bit extra air, an extra air gap underneath. So that's really good. And then in there, let's see, in here is the top of the fire and the top of the oven which goes under there so you can get the hoover in there to hoover that out so put that back it's pretty much really easy to clean every part of this stove which is really good because it means that you won't get a soot build up and you can keep it nice and clean so this is the top of the oven let me just stand that up for a sec up there and this here is the vent that's for the chimney and then this one at the side is for the chimney, so we're going to open that. And then what you do once the fire's going is you close the chimney one off, that one off, but you leave this one open. 
um, and then that will then send the flames from under here round the top of the oven and then the heat will go through that vent and then down the heat goes all the way around that way like that so that's what heats your oven then this is the oven we've put an oven tray in there to stop the food burning on the bottom but when the oven gets when the fire gets really going you can open this oven and um, it'll let even more heat out because this whole stove here acts like a big um, log burner so you've got all this area here generating the heat that um, then keeps the place warm so yeah it's really really efficient so as you can see we've got our fire sorted there is another little cleaning point just here so you can clean down the side there and get all that hoovered out and suck all the muck out um, and in here as well there's another access way to clean inside there Ooh. so yeah you can clean in there as well so that's good so that gets shut right so we've got all our vents open we've got that vent open we've got the chimney open and you open this one here so let's put this plate back now I was a bit worried about these plates because I was thinking there's only a piece of rope and then the hot plates how's that going to stop the um, fire coming out but it doesn't there's no fire comes out at all so I'll just get my fire lighters and then we'll get it lit right so this wood inside the fire has been drying out since last year so it should be dry it did get a bit wet in there the other day because we had uh, some really really torrential downpours and the grid overflowed but I'm hoping that that's not going to make too much of a difference so put one in the middle there one in the middle there and we'll push them in like that so we'll push them right into the fire I don't know whether you can see but the flames are starting to get up now so I'll shut that over and I'll shut it full just let a little bit of air get in as I say we'll learn it together this is the first time today it's going to be on all day so we're going to see how efficient it gets there's no wind outside today either so it's just going to work on the drawer of the chimney so we'll come back to that in a few minutes and I'll show you where it's up to I'm starting to get a draft now, a drawer coming through the chimney um, it doesn't take long for that to start happening so that's good um, because it's a straight flue in this room and not curved and um, we've got a kink in the flue in the other room so it takes longer to get going um, but this one seems quite happy you can really hear that getting going now Right, the fan's started spinning now, so I'm going to turn off the chimney. And uh, the fire seems quite happy, so I'm going to leave that now for 10 minutes. And let most of that wood burn down. Um, and then that'll mean then that the chimney's hot. I'm starting to really smell the heat now, which is nice. So yeah, very pleased with it. Right, see how this fire is doing. So we're going to open the flue up again. So let's smoke up. That's really hot. That's a really, really good fire that. I'm going to add some wood now. Nothing too big to start with. I'll just start with a smaller piece. Got some tongs, which I found in the garage. There's one. Let's put two in. And 
shut the door again. Close the chimney back up. And there you have it. All nicely lit, ready to go. So we're just closing that other vent off a little bit. Got my kettle on. So we're all ready to go. Feels lovely and warm. Changes the whole room. It's fabulous. I thought I'd just jump back on and show you my dinner. I've just taken it out of the oven. Um, it's taken about 20 minutes to cook. And about half an hour probably. I put it in about half an hour ago. 45 minutes ago. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of steam coming out of there. Ow, it's very hot. And it's definitely cooked. I've cooked pumpkin, pepper, cauliflower, mushroom, and I soaked the cauliflower in some eggs so it's got a bit of a scrambled egg kind of uh, texture. And tomatoes out the greenhouse. So that's cooked perfect. Look at the steam coming out of that. So for a free meal from the passive heat from the stove, I think that's fab. I'm going to leave it in there for a bit. I've also done some couscous as well. Um, so I'm going to put that in the oven as well with that casserole. Leave it for 10 minutes to heat back up again and uh, have my dinner. So, yeah, I'm very pleased. I'm a very happy lady. It's definitely going to work out just fine. I'll be able to slow cook in the oven when the oven's burning away when I'm in the garden or working outside. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be perfect. So, that's it. I'm just going to sign off now. I just thought I'd pop in and let you know how my dinner cooked. So, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.